it's imperative that the same great service that you're offering today, we need to make sure that that matches that web experience. So we're setting expectations on when product's gonna be delivered. We're showing the correct pricing. And if we're out of stock, we're just being honest about that and making recommendations. So guys, we have the benefit of working with a lot of different distributors who are implementing e-commerce into their business. And part of the benefit is we're able to see what works and what doesn't work. Uh, John, let's dive into some of the things that we've seen that distributors need to be very mindful of as they're uh, implementing an e-commerce strategy here. Yeah, I think, James, this is a fun topic and very important. I think the number one thing a distributor needs to think about is after everything is built and it's working and it's in fine working order, they need to think about how do they sell it to their team? How do they make it additive to their team? Because as an inside person, you're used to having the customer call you for anything, any time of the day, 24-7, 365. You want to find stock for them. You want to chase down orders. You want to expedite. There's so many things that they're used to doing to have the customer call you that now that you've got a great website, they don't need to call you for anymore. The customer can check their own stock and then call you, which is the way you want it to work. So you got to sell your team. I mean, I'll give you an example. When I was at a distributor, we couldn't figure out why 50% of our associates told our customers not to use the website. So when we surveyed them, they said, we think they're, you know, the website's replacing us as people. So you've got to sell it to them as how it's additive, how it adds to the sales process and doesn't take away from the good work they do. You want them selling more as a distributor leader versus customer service. And customers now want to do self-service for their customer service. Jason, what do you think? Yeah, I think I think there's a couple of a couple of different points we can hit on here. One being pricing, right? We know in the world of of distribution, especially pricing is complex. You have all sorts of pricing engines and tables and matrices and uh, you know customer specific contract pricing. And then on top of that, you have sort of this you know it's highly competitive, and and we really don't want to show our competitors our price. And so what ends up happening though is that we sort of create this this environment and this culture where the where the customer is better off calling in and talking to someone at a at a branch, you know, talking to an inside salesperson, calling their account manager, and that's how they get their best price. And what we want to do is we want to create transparency so that when they log into a system, they know that, hey, I'm getting my best price and that I'm going to be rewarded, you know, from this process because it's going to go faster, it's going to be easier. Um, and which brings me to my next point, which is customer experience, right? If, if I go online and I order something and, and, you know, I'm used to doing business with you and I order something and it takes twice as long to get here, I'm probably not doing that again. So it's imperative that the same great service that you're offering today, if it's a white glove service, however you do it, you know, when they're calling into the branch, when they're calling their account manager, we need to make sure that that matches that web experience. So we're setting expectations on when product's gonna be delivered. We're showing the correct pricing. And if we're out of stock, we're just being honest about that and making recommendations. Yeah, well said guys. Uh, so if you're a distributor, no matter where you're at within your e-commerce uh, process, Keep these tips in mind. The first one is make sure that your internal team is well-trained on the value of the e-commerce uh, strategy and the e-commerce property to where they can then start to help customers adopt that process, making everybody's job more efficient and even helping with market development. Uh, the second point is pricing. Make sure that your online pricing is very transparent it aligns with the pricing that uh, customers receive offline. And the third and final point is, make sure that your customer experience is just as good as the human experience in how customers purchase from your team. Guys, great insights, thanks for sharing. Thanks, James. Thank you, James. Thanks for watching today. If you liked what you heard and you want to put some of these ideas to use with your team, reach out to us at dorngroup.com.
If you want to continue to receive more insights like these for manufacturers and distributors, follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube.